Well, hello and welcome from Rome. Hello. Join us as we embark on the brand new Sun Princess on its inaugural cruise. Yes. Is it and dead? here's what's coming up. So we've made it. We're at the cruise port and yep. we're just checking in just checking for in. the inaugural cruise Picking on the Sun Princess. We're going to medallions. Yeah. The queues aren't too big. No, keeping one eye on the queue. We're hot and sweaty, but excited. Yes. Got your thing, have you? Got my medallion, yes. Mel's got her medallion. Just to say, as well as being the first time on a maiden cruise, it's, it's the very first time on Princess, princess Cruises. Yeah. The lifeboats are lovely and new. Never been used. So there it is. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, he's asked me five look, times. A brand new ship. A brand new ship. Mel's commenting how nice the lifeboats look. Hopefully, we won't have to find out how good they are inside. Don't say that. <laughs> Maiden voyage and all that. And there's enough room on that door for two of us. What door? Don't do a rose in Titanic and kick, Shut up. kick Jack off. And because we're on the maiden voyage, you can go straight to your room by the looks of it. it. Looks like it too. You don't have to wait for them to be cleaned. Mel, I can hear clapping on board. I can hear clapping as well. <laughs> I can hear clapping and cheering. In. Oh no. You have to be cheerful. <laughs> I'm British, I don't do that sort of thing. That's not really an excuse. I'm personally quite miserable. calmer in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of that I could show because the copyright music. Door unlocked. Oh, did you, did you, it did it even go like that? Go he knows me. Okay. What did you get? Ooh. My God. It's huge. Oh, good grief. This is a big room. This is, this is really, oh my God. Oh, gosh. it smells so new. Oh, we got, we got drink. We got food. <laughs> we got sparkling wine. <gasps> Oh my, this is the best room we've ever had. Oh, the grief. How lovely is that? Prosecco, they knew. I we've got a really nice room. I can't believe how big this room is. It's got two TVs, a lounge area. It's a mini suite. They upgraded mm. us a we few only days have, ago. We only initially had a cove balcony. Yeah. But they've upgraded us to a mini suite and it's the biggest room we've ever had. The only ship. problem we've got now though, what? When we go on our next cruise. We'll expect something like we'll, this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in a pokey room again. It's a very neutral colour scheme, isn't it? Very calm. What you can't get on the camera is the smell. It smells so new. Of new carpet. New carpet. New carpet smell. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how big it is. What we'll do, we'll settle in now because I'm really hot. Yeah. And we'll do a proper cabin tour as a separate video. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Well, tough luck, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Shall we go and explore the rest yes. of the ship? Yes, we shall. So, as we were looking around the cabin, somebody came on and said there's a free glass of Prosecco somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, that sounds a good offer. It does sound good. Let's go and explore and find that free glass of Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Wait for it. Is this it? Oh. 
Well, a very good afternoon, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome on board the beautiful Sun Princess. We require all embarking guests to complete our mandatory safety essentials. Safety essentials is an easy three-step process. Step number one, please make your way to your assembly station and check in using your medallion. The location of your assembly station is indicated on the safety notice on the back of your stateroom door and within the Princess app. Members of our team are in position where they are ready to welcome you to your assembly Let's station. Let's go do that first, shall we? Mm -hmm. So we're taking the stairs to deck eight, no, deck six. six, to get some lunch. What do you think of the decor? It's quite, the decor is... Very calming. Calming, yeah. It's not in your face, is it? So we wandered into the eatery. This is our master station. But we've been distracted by food. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll show you the food later. We're going to deck six first to get the free glass of uh, Prosecco. Mel's got a muster. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So we we're mustering in the eatery on deck nine. Mel's on a mission. There's a bit of a queue because everyone's going in for their lunch. And it uh... might be with the buffet instead. Okay. Yeah, do you go to the buffet instead? Yeah. So the inaugural <laughs> lunch. Looked very, very, very busy. busy. So we decided to go to and the And you only got a free glass of Prosecco. We've got so a bottle. That's why everyone's going. Yes. Free booze and everyone goes. But we've got a bottle in the cabin. We have. So shall we go to the eatery, the buffet? Yes. That's where we busted. I'm out of breath, by the way. <laughs> so, Mel. Yes. How do you feel? I feel relaxed. hot. <laughs> no, not quite yet. Not, not, not relaxed yet, but I will okay. be. I'm just going to get some food in the buffet. Okay. So the buffet looks nice. Like I said, I can't compare it to any other princess cruises because it's our first time on Princess. It looks nice though. I'm watching Mel and she's going back and forth, back and forth. She hasn't chosen anything yet. We'll get the report when she comes back. Mel, back from the buffet. I've got sweet and sour chicken and yeah. sort of like a beef stir fry. Is it nice? I'm sorry that, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. Spring roll, Mongolian beef stir fry and some sort of garlic rice. So Mel's got an Asian concoction. Anything I would like up there, Mel? Let's take a look. So we've got some focaccia. What's over there? Baked potatoes and roast ham. Some more Italian fresh pasta. Hi. I think I'll pass some pasta. I've been in Rome for three days. So I've had enough pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> What's there? Some breads. Nice breads. Oh, the fruit looks nice. Pork and beef salads. Hi. I'm okay, thanks. A little side plates. And then we've got some paninis with salami. The bread looks nice. Um, focaccia, rye bread, sourdough. What are those? This one is some panada. Yeah. Mushroom with spinach. Mushroom with spinach, yeah. And here is chicken. Chicken, okay, cheers, thanks. Oh, we've got some desserts here. We have cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, roast pork, and we've got Mexican rice, roast potatoes, some more. And nice staff as well. Happy yeah. staff. <laughs> Pico de gallo. Mexican station there. And this is the Asian food here. Spring rolls. Yeah, so I'm quite impressed with the buffet. And it's what I did like, everything is behind glass. So you haven't got other people's 
dirty hands all over it. Nice and fresh. What I'll do, I'll put the camera back, get some food, and I'll see you back at the table. So I've gone for Mongolian chicken and garlic rice with a rice cracker thing. I apologize to anyone I meet after this meal because I'm going to stink of garlic. Well, on the outside eating area of the buffet, the sun's come out as well, first time. And it, the problem is there's a lot of copyright music playing. So I think, especially because it's Sail Away Day as well, we're having a quick look around. We're on deck nine at the moment, looking over the back of the ship. What do you think of it so far then, Mel? It's a very classy ship. I very classy very ship. Very classy. So how come they let us on then? I don't know, where you're on there, I don't know. <laughs> Very elegant. <laughs> so that's a little pool area at the back of the ship on deck. I think it's deck eight. E3 is deck nine, that's deck eight. Let's go up to the top, shall we? Up there. So now we're on deck 18. So this area, on deck 18 at the back of the ship, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. The lady was saying it's for sweet guests. Yes. But not mini sweet guests. No, she said you can buy a day pass. She says it's like $99, but I'm not sure. Oh, I guess. I, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's a sweet... This area is yeah. for sweet for guests sweet only, guests, okay. Yeah. Anyway, where did the riffraff go then? So we continue our walk around deck 18. They got a couple of these things, these viewers. Binoculars. Yeah. Mel's too short for that one. No. I'm and too tall for that one. <laughs> so we have now found the main public pool area in the middle of the ship. So this is the dome. So that was the dome. It was nice, but not really big. I think if there was a show on, mm -hmm. you would have to get there early, wouldn't you? I don't know how they're doing. There's nothing on. Oh, they've got an indoor, outdoor pool. The pool goes from outside, the front bar, the sea view bar, inside to the dome part. Well, I'm back in the cabin. Mel's gone to look at some of the shops. No doubt we'll be getting some of those on film later. That area, the sea view bar, was on deck 17, not deck 18, I think. Anyway, we'll see you back up there at half past five. I think it's time to open the wine. Oh, the ice has melted. <laughs> One for me. And another one for me. What are you having, Mel? I'm having two glasses of Prosecco. Oh, I'm just trying to 
Oh, hello. Enjoy yourself? Yeah. Mel, they play the love boats. Yes, I can move it. Did you ever watch the love boats? I did. Did you? Yeah. I never watched the love boats. You're not romantic though, are you? No, so we're making our way to the Sea View, sea view Bar at the front of the ship on deck 17. I find my way around, I find my way around at last. <laughs> Some brave souls are in the hot tubs. Lager lout. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. <laughs> it may not be the right group, but it's a fun group, so we're joining you. We're jogging, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, look, they planned. Look at this planning. <laughs> they even got the change of ports there. <laughs> well, we've had a drink. We met the Facebook group, but it's a bit cold out there. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go inside to the main sail away party. So apparently we missed the sail away party, but we haven't actually sailed away. <laughs> the sail away party was inside earlier, so um, we have to go to the real sail away party when we actually move. Okay. So we're gonna brave it outside <laughs> until the actual sail away. We're at the bow of the ship now. Here we are, I'm freezing. And Mel's freezing. The people from California are really freezing. <laughs> back in the room after the sail away party but after a couple of hours we haven't sailed away so I don't know what's going on cheers I'm slightly drunk because I was really thirsty and we didn't have any soft drinks so I had to drink this Prosecco and had a beer <laughs> A more Prosecco. Okay. Anyway, we've switched to the phone <coughs> because that's a little more discreet. And we're going to go to where? Um, we're going to the Reserve Dining. Reserve room. Dining. So if you get a, if you have a mini suite, you can book a reserve. You don't, sorry, if you have a mini suite, you can use the Reserve Dining Room. You just turn up. You don't have to book it. Okay. And it's like the it's like a main dining room, but slightly more elevated. Menu. Let's go. Let's go. And tomorrow, where are we going? Pompeii. In Naples and Pompeii. Uh, Pompeii. Yeah, Frankie Howard. <laughs> oh, this is. We're going to Pompeii, Naples. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not Naples, Pompeii. And then. Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast. The first dinner. Music with the Rambling Rovers. The Rambling Rovers. Yeah. And we've got um, Comedy and Magic by Nathan Fan. Nathan Fan. Fan. P H A N. Okay. And also we've got. Is it Comedy and Magic? Yeah. I'm not a fan of magic part of that. <laughs> and we've got Laugh Loud with Ken Boyd. So we'll have to try and sort of. I, I would avoid magicians. Two of us in this relationship, and I wouldn't avoid magicians. <laughs> um, there's also um, Good Spirits at Sea cocktail experience. Oh, yeah, that sounds more interesting than the magicians. Um, and what else have we got? DJ Brickhouse. <laughs> Marcus laughs every time I say that. I there's a word I... missing. Yes, if you're in the UK, you probably know what the word is. Um, it's a game show. I'll pick trivia for a hundred. Anyway, that's the sort of thing we're going to be we'll doing tonight. We'll see what, we're gonna get we'll see what tonight, we turn yeah. up to. It could all get quite messy. 
so vegetarian should get that. Hardcore carnivores, you get that. The restaurant is more picturesque than Mel's background, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching us sailing away. Uh, how was dinner? Yeah. The prawn cocktail was a nice big prawn, a little bit too chilled, but it was a nice, nice sauce. And then the prime rib was a bit too much meat for I me. I didn't look at I Mel's food. I didn't actually realise how big it was. It's too fleshy. It was very big and it was quite fatty, which prime rib is actually. Mm. Um, but the and vegetables and the jack potato was lovely as well. But the meat was quite good. It was just a lot. So if you haven't got a massive appetite, I would say avoid it. <laughs> Um, what are you having next? And now I can have white chocolate cheesecake. Okay. I think it's a good main dining room. Yeah. Um, it's got a hard white chocolate top. We have 72 of you from Australia. Oh, that's a good Okay. We have 127 from the Emerald Isle. Where are you, Island? Yeah. And the bar, we love to see it. And 261 of my. Uh, fellow Brits, where are you, UK? Yay! Yeah. Hey. Okay, now top two highest. 361 of you from uh, north of the border in Canada. Yeah. Hello, Canada, welcome to represent, which leaves 1,965 of you from the United States of America. So we're now in O'Malley's Irish pub. Did you already order sir? No, I haven't. I'll have to buy the, the Clover Breeze, please. Have one of those. Thank you. Clover Breeze? Yep. Excellent taste, sir. That's one of my favorites. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're finishing off the night in O'Malley's, the Irish bar. O'Malley's bar. I'm having a Irish coffee. What are you having, Marcus? I'm having a cocktail. cocktail. An very Irish cocktail with yeah. vodka. Vodka, okay. Yeah. So this is the Clover Breeze. The colour's a bit odd, but will it taste better than it looks? Well, hello from a very cold and wet Naples. Look at it. Actually, the forecast is for the sun to come out lunchtime. We'll see. Anyway, that was the first day on the Sun Princess. Very enjoyable. We're about to go on a, on a trip to Pompeii now. So that'll be coming up in a later episode. But embarkation, overall, good first impression. Anyway, see you in the next video coming up shortly. Bye. Bye.